Hi again, this is Noel at Home Quick, and I just want to talk to you about whether or not you really need a property manager. So I've got eight questions I want to run through real quick that you should be asking yourself to help you decide. So the first couple of questions are, how far do you live th from the property, and how do you deal with stress? So being close to the property is obviously going to be important for any kind of maintenance issue. If you need to run over there while you're marketing uh, to tidy up uh, or to let somebody in to check it out, all of those things will be a factor, you know, depending on how far away and how long it's going to take you to get there. And then how do you deal with stress? Uh, if you're talking with the tenant and they're dealing with domestic issues or late paying or they're very picky, sometimes we get tenants that are contacting us all the time because they want lots of things done. Are you going to be able to uh, deal with that stress and still maintain a professional relationship with that tenant? That's something you should ask yourself for sure. Okay, next we want to talk about how fast can you get your property rented and are you a maintenance expert? Uh, when's the last time you had to change out the inside of a toilet or fix a leak at the property? At a house you live in, you, you probably deal with this stuff all the time, um, but if you're used to hiring people to help you at your house, definitely something you need to think about when you're um, talking about a rental property. When things break, you got to fix them. Uh, we expect our tenants to take care of the minor stuff, but you're going to be responsible for handling uh, any of the any of the major issues are you ready for that um, we also want to talk about the speed of getting it rented are you able to get it advertised quickly are you able to show the house every time somebody wants to see it um, are you good at taking pictures and videos do you know how to price it right all of that stuff matters with how fast we can get this thing rented so it can start making you money okay and lastly we want to talk about problems with tenants uh, generally you know mostly including late rents and knowing the laws um, that uh, govern your property uh, based on your state, obviously for us here in Arizona. So do you know what to do and do you know what the tenant's rights are and what your rights are if they're paying late or you're having problems? What happens if you think you've got to do an eviction? Do you know how to handle it? Uh, it can be done very quickly and smoothly if it's done the right way and Arizona's got a great process for it, which we're experts at. Luckily, we don't have to do it often. Um, but you also want to understand the laws. You can't just show up anytime at the property and knock on the door. Uh, that is a major violation, could get you in trouble. There's fair housing laws, um, discrimination laws, all kinds of things that come into play with the tenant and the landlord relationship. So if you don't think you're confident in understanding those, um, definitely time to consider using somebody like us. Okay, my favorite part now, accounting. Uh, I hate dealing with numbers. Hopefully you're great at them if you plan on doing this yourself. Uh, but if you're not, you definitely want to use somebody like us that can handle all the accounting, every penny that comes in and goes out. Uh, in Arizona, the security deposit, we keep in a separate trust account because that's the tenant's money. It's not yours. Better make sure you don't spend it. You've also got taxes due. There's TPT tax here in Arizona, um, and you've got taxes on uh, work that's performed and any income that comes in. We will handle all that accounting for you. If you don't think you're up to task, that should be number, one of your number one questions you ask yourself. Um, we also wanna talk about being on call 24 seven. Are you ready to answer the phone after hours, weekends, in the middle of the night if there's an emergency? Uh, when a tenant's got an emergency at their house, it's an emergency to them, which means it's gonna be an emergency for you. Somebody needs to be able to pick up that phone and deal with issues as they arise. Are you ready to do it? Again, so that's eight questions that you should consider um, uh, reading and take a look inward, see if this is stuff that you can handle on your own. If you can't, we can. You've got to check us out here at homequick.com.